In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to do a variegated wash or a multicolor wash and then how to convert that into a, a, a watercolor scene like this. Hi friends, I am Vanidas Mangathil and let's learn watercolor together. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell notification. Without further ado, let us begin the tutorial. Here I am using a cold pressed watercolor paper, 100% uh, cotton and uh, it's around 300 GSM. So you could use any brand uh, of a cold pressed watercolor paper for this. And uh, I am starting with bright red color. So I have used uh, uh, a soft round brush. Uh, this is a natural hair uh, round brush. You could use any soft round brush and load the brush fully with uh, whatever color you prefer. In this case, it is a, it's a uh, bright red color. So here I have decided that I will create uh, a multicolor washes uh, using uh, some variations of red and orange and yellows, etc. So I'm starting the top of the area I'm covering with the red color and after progressing to a certain amount, uh, I will I'm planning to use some orange color so gradually I will move from uh, red to orange at this point I am picking up some orange color and uh, while uh, the bead uh, is still live I mean uh, the while it is still wet I am continuing with washes of orange and uh, you can see that uh, slightly the orange is coming now so the red and the orange doesn't have very very clear demarcation it is softly merging uh, sort of thing uh, it is not as soft as as uh, as gradated as the gra graded wash uh, uh, example that we have seen earlier uh, here i have i have two uh, washes primarily that is one red color and one with orange color okay so how much orange, how much red, and what, where we should change the color, it's all up to you. This is just an example. So I'm moving now to yellow color. So you can somewhat see the different bands of colors here, but uh, if you don't want, uh, you have to, I mean, you can mix, you can merge them a little bit more carefully. Okay, now the idea is, idea at this particular point is just to create uh, multiple color washes. And uh, the, I'm only worrying about the washes being smooth. Okay, uh, I'm not. Uh, I don't want any any what do you call it as any uh, sharp edges or patches uh, for this wash. Uh, this is just a kind of a smooth wash. Okay, so red, orange, yellow, and again coming back to orange and probably red. Okay, so this is a sort of a multicolor wash or or a variegated wash. And uh, you can practice this. It is very uh, important that we practice all these watercolor washes uh, uh, quite a bit and we get uh, good at it because uh, having good control with the washes can really help you. I mean, help in getting your watercolor is much better. At this point, I'm just taking out the tape just to show that how, how vibrant and how smooth these washes are looking like. So that was just uh, uh, to show how the wash is done now once the wash is fully dry I am applying a second layer this is the phase where I am trying to convert that washes into a, a, a convincing watercolor scene since I am looking at uh, some uh, wet on wet uh, clouds at the top I, actually I wanted to convert this into a landscape and in a, lands in a landscape, uh, you, you most commonly you see a good amount of sky at the top. So I want some clouds at the sky area. So I am wetting the paper uh, once the initial wash is fully dry. Okay, I am wetting the paper and I have mixed some, some purple and red and some dark colors uh, to get a darker version of the red. The color you uh, mix with red to get this darker version. It, it is your choice. You could use any any uh, Darkening color uh, maybe alt uh, Ultramarine blue or you could use burnt sienna or you could use uh, green to get a, 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 
a darker version of red so you can try with whatever color that you have okay so please i i i always suggest that you don't remember uh, any particular formula or recipe when it comes to color mixing and all you have to experience the color mixing by yourself and uh, get good at deciding what colors you should pick up and what colors you should mix to get certain tones so here i am worrying about the tones right so the the clouds are getting uh, uh, convincing now okay so i'm i'm pretty happy with the way the clouds are coming out since we have made the paper wet Uh, before applying these clouds we are getting good amount of spread and at the horizon i wanted some uh, sort of uh, some distant foliages or something this is from imagination i don't have any specific reference so sort of this is uh, could be some from some memory or from purely from imagination that is up to you okay now this seems to look like uh, sort of uh, something at a distance uh, maybe uh, it's uh, some hills or something all right so uh, it is it is up to you to decide what it should, what you want depends depending upon the kind of washes that you already have on the paper and depending upon the clouds you can decide what is the matching landscape uh, all right so i'm planning to define some water below this uh, uh, horizon element so to get some reflection wet on wet reflection i am wetting the paper with clean water okay so i have cleaned my brush and uh, loaded the brush with clean water and i, I have uh, made it wet and i'm using uh, a paler version of the foliage color Uh, below that maybe a little bit of orangish version so that uh, this looks like a, a sort of a convincing reflection when when you when you make reflection uh, you need to make it uh, i mean you had to follow certain principles so what are the what are the properties of uh, reflections you had to learn about that okay and then follow it so here i am just uh, Uh, assuming that uh, this is a still water or a not very uh, disturbed water and the uh, the reflections are kind of still very recognizable and this area is a piece of land so i'm i'm just applying some darker color uh, just to suggest that this is a piece of land some of the uh, colors of the initial wash is seen through here uh, that might uh, suggest some of those uh, shallow water puddles in between so here i'm using some darker color maybe red and some painish gray etc some some darker version of the red color some browner version of the red color uh, just to suggest some 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 odd things on the, on the land okay the land is usually not very smooth you, there will be a lot of things on the land so i'm just suggesting something some some t- sort of textures on the ground on the land now if you see if you look at this okay now look at this this uh, looks like uh, like a good background and we i am thinking that okay i am i will be adding uh, maybe i can add a tree okay so that is the decision i have made okay so for making the tree uh, i have again used the same brush and used a darker version of red maybe red and some Uh, dark colors you can maybe you, you can mix red and painish gray or red and some blue and brown etc uh, to get this kind of a uh, color so if you are liking this video and uh, if you think it is helping you please subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification also i would request you to put your suggestions or questions uh, on in the comment box below i will surely go through all of your all your comments your questions and suggestions and i will try to respond to your questions as quick as possible and i will also try to uh, take your comments or, uh, com- or suggestions and i will try to include that in my future videos as much as possible and uh, your your likes and your comments your suggestions uh, can really motivate me and i, I will be Uh, uh that will help me in creating more and more videos 
that will motivate me to create more and more videos uh, uh, that can be helpful right at this point i have uh, used a narrow brush okay this again is a, a sort of a liner brush and i am using a darker color and i'm suggesting lot of branches okay you can uh, while making these branches try to get some randomness uh, uh, on the direction of the branch and the length of the branch etc uh, sorry that i have my hand is covering uh, some of this uh, drawing unfortunately i was not able to uh, control it because the camera is fixed on top right and uh, the paper is kept at an angle so i was uh, finding it difficult uh, to not block uh, the the painting with my hand but i think you understand uh, the the thing okay just some branches dry branches i don't want to make it complicated by adding a lot of foliages and all i i would rather leave it uh, Uh, like a dry tree or a tree without much of leaves okay this seems to be good be be explore uh, explore i'm um, or be experimenting uh, with uh, all these branches and your your elements see this is uh, from imagination if you are following along don't try to replicate the branches the way i did it you can create your own uh, branches and it can have uh, the, the number of branches and the direction you can decide your own and uh, if you are i mean following and uh, doing your own washes and your own scene uh, you take the you create the elements based on what suits best uh, for your your washes okay right so let us think what we have to do now okay Mm, let why, why not to add a figure here so i'm thinking of adding a figure here so he, this could be uh, his or her head and let us create some upper body here i i don't want to make it very precise if you want to make it precise you have to draw it with a pencil and then paint it and or if you are not confident of uh, painting figures uh, directly uh it's perfectly okay that uh, you can use a uh, 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 pencil to draw the figures per figure first and then then paint it okay here i am just uh, directly painting it with a small brush so i have used two brushes for this one uh, a medium size uh, uh, natural hair round brush for the washes and the tree trunk and for the tree branches and the figure i am using a smaller size uh, uh calligraphy type brush uh, which this this kind of brushes will give good tip and, uh, and which can give good details this i'm adding a little bit of red color to suggest the face etc here the colors are very limited okay so i'm not i'm not really worried about the realistic colors here i'm looking for some matching colors adjacent colors uh Okay, I'm not happy with the figures uh, to be frank, but I will leave it as it is. I don't want to make it uh, too much. I don't want to fix it basically. Okay, I will just uh, will leave it as it is, and uh, let us make a small doggy dog. And uh, I'm not good at making uh, dogs and animals. I don't do it that much, but I'm just suggesting some shapes. Okay, because that should be sufficient. I think this reasonably uh, uh, looks like a convincing scene. I'm just uh, doing some color variations. Okay, because see, uh, there is some play of light. We have to enhance the play of light. So at some places where you think the light can hit, you can make it a little bit more warmer, or you can add a little bit of white color later uh, to to enhance the play of light. right so 
what what next i am thinking so whenever whenever i am silent you can just assume that i am thinking right now i think we should we can add little bit of highlight with the white watercolor so here i have taken white watercolor chinese white shade uh, directly from the tube uh, from the tube without diluting it and i am applying this white at those areas where i think some lights can hit okay and this should be done very very judiciously with a lot of control because if you overdo it 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 can very easily spoil your work so do it very carefully uh don't do it too much okay i think i am i already have a tendency to do it to overdo it but but better uh do it with very do it with a lot of care okay so just some touches here and there here and there so that uh, there is a play of light and some interest yeah i think that's uh, that is sufficient uh some sort of interest in the water body hmm i think i think that's it uh, don't do it more okay so i not do i don't think i I'll, i should do it uh, any more so let us i think this is the right place the where we can uh, we can uh, call it as done so this is reasonably interesting so we have started with a multi color wash variegated wash and then after after it got dried we we have added additional layers to make it as a proper watercolor uh, scene okay so i am uh, taking out the uh, tape now to get a clear border and i think the the final outcome is reasonably looking good i hope uh, you have enjoyed the uh, this tutorial and if uh, if Uh, if you find that uh, this is uh, informative and there was something to learn please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification please write your comments and suggestions and your thoughts uh, about this video or your suggestions for future videos please write them into the comment box below and uh, please uh, share your support by uh, dropping a like and uh, you can also share it to your friends to, uh, who who can benefit from this video so thank you very much for being with me and uh, we'll see you in the next video thanks bye bye